No, 18. Okay. We're going to play through it together. Ten, eight, ten, eight. Very good. So I want you to use the African numerals and draw it. We're going to draw it with our African numerals. If you have your whiteboard, then use your whiteboard to draw out the numbers. And if you don't have your whiteboard, then you can use a piece of paper in a pencil or a marker or a crown. The equation is nine plus nine is the same. So how do we draw nine using African numerals? We have nine units. We don't have a thousand one. We have we're supposed nine. To do nine tick marks. Exactly. Nine, nine, tally, marks. nine tally marks or nine ticks. Very good. So we want to have nine on one side and nine on the other side. And it's very helpful if you have counting toys. If you don't, I understand. But it's very helpful if you have counting toys. I have some counting toys. Awesome. How many counting toys do I currently have on the screen? That is nine. Well, why is it nine? How many red? How many red units do I have? Five. Very good. How many green? Four. Four. Five green. Plus four equals nine. Okay, great. So now I have two groups of counting toys. Eighteen. Well, what's the second group? Is it the same as the first? Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to put those together. How many red counting toys do I have all together? Uh, nine. Red? How many red all together? All together. Oh. How many red counting toys? All together. Because I put them together. Remember, addition is, addition is putting together. So now how many red counting toys do I have? So if I take five red and put it together with five red, how many red do I have all together? Ten. Very Ten. good. Ten is correct. And that then is correct. four more. Four plus four equals eight. Very good. So that's how you all got 10-8. That is excellent. He got my coffee. <laughs> Well done, Billy Now what I want to do is what what I need to learn. How, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write my African numerals. So I'm going to use five. Draw along with Baba on your papers or your board. I'm going to use five. Red tally marks. And I'm going to use four green tally marks. And if your tally marks are all the same color, that's fine. But you want to have five on top and four underneath. So everyone draw your nine where you have five marks on top and four underneath. When you put the five together with the four, then you'll have nine. Yes, precious. You did two times. You got two nines. Nine, nine. Yes. Space so you can have room for your other side. Yes. So now I'm going to take my two red fives. And I'm going to put them together. What's five put together with five? 
That's 10. Does anybody know how to write 10 in African numerals? Yes, I do. Draw the African, draw the symbol on your board or your paper. Draw the symbol. Thank you, thank you, Red. Uh, oh, wow. Excellent. Okay, put your papers down. Okay, so there's that 10. Now, how many units do we have left? We have three. We have eight of the green. Excellent. That is correct. We have and eight. we have a I mean nine of the red. Nine? Are you sure? Five put together with five is what? Five put together with five is that's ten. Very, Very good. good. So this we so we're going to group that 10 into a house of 10. And then we have how many green counting toys? Eight, eight. Very eight. good. So we have green, we have eight green counting toys. So how many counting toys do we have all together? How many all together? 18. How would you say that in African numerals? Ten eight. Very good. Ten eight. Ten eight, Ten, eight is correct. Ten. This is too easy for you all. I got to give you all something more challenging. Let me see if 